I'm going to go over a couple things for you. The Hema Concentrator uh, that comes in the FC120 Pure Kit. This is how it comes if you just wanted to get the Hema Concentrator by itself. What comes in this kit? These are some connector accessories that are designed for tube sets. We don't use this in our kit, so this is not needed. And then the Hema Concentrator in itself comes in its own sterile package. And basically here's how we would use it moving forward. In addition to the Hema Concentrator, you will need double female lure lock adapters. And uh, we will supply these each time that you get just a single Hema Concentrator. And I'll show you how it works. I've got here some yellow food coloring with water just to be our example of the platelet pour plasma. You will need a VacLock syringe, 60 ml as shown here, um, process, and you'll also need an extra 60 ml syringe. And I'll show you how the whole process works. On the device, we have the blood flow arrow coming from this end out to this end. So that is first thing that we'll put in. And as you can see, it doesn't fit into there. That's where these come in. And this will go out on this side. With these little adapters. Lure lock it right on top there. Lure lock this side, remove that cap, use this adapter, and these adapters are only used with just the HEMA concentrator by itself. There's already pre-assembled connectors when you use the whole FC120 kit. Once that's in, then we take our vac lock syringe, get it pulled back for a full 60 ml suction, pull back this way, attach that, pull back suction, lock it in, hold up, there we go locked into place. Once everything is connected, you will then begin to transfer your platelet pour plasma through the HEMA concentrator into the other 60 ml syringe. During this process, we will be, the vacuolock will be having the pressure to remove basically all the water and the HEMA concentrator uh, will do the work as we move the PPP back and forth until we have about eight cc's left in our original syringe. And just one operating tip that I will show is to have your vac lock syringe down so gravity will assist in the transferring of the fluid. Uh, with all your lure locks connected, this would be your starting point to start the concentrating of the fibrinogen protein in the A2M. So here's a brief example of just the uh, processing part as we move from syringe to syringe. Everything goes through the HEMA concentrator. The vac locks designed just to pull out the water. Um, in the real case, the water in here will be clear and the PPP will be going back and forth just through the syringes.
you would keep all of the fluid going back and forth until you have about eight cc's left in your original syringe. And at that point, we remove our extra syringe here. And pull back the remaining fluid that is in the syringe or it's in the concentrator to leave us about 12 to 15 cc's of A2M concentrate.